Fuck. <clears throat> All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. For some reason, uh, OBS took forever when I hit the game record button. It was very frustrating. So this week has been pretty insane. Um, so just so much news. I actually want to get this tweet out, but I didn't want to just delay this because I actually want to watch the Hikaru versus Magnum Carlson uh, game. Uh, that's probably lo about to go live, actually. So um, let's see. Yeah, oh, someone's already right there. Uh, any hope of winning? Predict it declining steadily. He should he should start focusing on. See, because uh, Twitter actually censored the president. Actually, let me, while I think about the tweet, <clears throat> let me see. Yeah. See, actually, I probably can't show it because <clears throat> yeah, I don't want I don't want to give the the f words on YouTube an excuse to flag my YouTube channel, get me banned. But uh, it basically, it, actually, I probably can't even say it. But uh, pretty much, it, it was that little rhyme about uh, about looters, <laughs> and uh, you know, so basically, it, not nobody gives a shit. Trump, everyone knows Trump is a fucking loser and a paper. He's not even a paper tiger. He's just paper. So that's why he's like, I think Trump's probably figure out no one on the left or big tech give two shits about his empty threats. Twitter now brazenly censoring his account. I actually ran out of space, so I had to remove the LOL. We tried to warn you, Trump, back in 2016, but you did nothing. The time to act was when Mile, Alex Jones, and The Storm got banned. Not only did I run out, but I also had to change the code words so people would know exactly what I was referring to. And that was, th and that's the truth. That's when he was supposed to act. But now he's waiting. It's too fucking late, dumbass. Dumbass as in Trump. So, you know, uh, this is what fucking happens, right? See, they're see now predict it's. I mean, in a way, they're trying to manipulate it a little bit because it's technically still 50 49 like it always is. But I think what's happening is more people are slowly tilting towards Joe Biden for winning the presidency. Um, so I think that's what's actually happening. So it's starting to get worse for Trump. He should, he should start focusing, uh, he should start focusing on lockdowns, mail fraud, and, uh, let's see, he should start focusing on people uh, let's see Let's see, because the problem is he still keeps focusing on China. Like, no, I, like, yeah, some people are probably pissed about China, but did China order the lockdown of American cities? No, the Democrats did that shit. Right? Uh, the Republicans, you know, wanted to lift it. Did uh, you know who who's who's pushing the fucking mass surveillance, uh, and then the mass immunity card shit to track your every fucking movement? China's not doing that shit. It's American companies doing that shit. You know, and Democrats in particular. So, I mean, Trump's not even correctly placing the blame. Uh, and, uh, like, this is no accident, right? The reason There's a reason why I'm not calling this fake. I think this is actually real, right? And it's getting worse. Like, it's like, at this point, whatever. Now, what's interesting is Joe Biden, back in January, actually said he wants to completely get rid of Section 230. So it would hurt us, but we're already hurt. We're already censored. So it's essentially, we don't have a voice anyway. So it would only hurt the Democrats. Now, Joe Biden, because he's senile, he might actually uh, go for it. So I don't know. Um, but there's a real possibility that we're going to have to get used to the idea of a president, Joe Biden, because Trump is just clearly fucking retarded. So, because <clears throat> again, um, I'll put that up there. Because again, look, Twitter. See, Twitter doesn't give a shit. They just said, we're for free speech. And then they immediately censor uh, Trump right here. Like, they literally don't give a shit. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah. See, here again, he's just like China. And what's annoying is more people are just liking retweeting this than shit like, you know, over here where Trump's actually getting censored. Right? You know, uh, in fact, more people are retweeting the riots than they are about the censorship thing over here. And only because he mentioned the word China in here. It's like, uh, the mail fraud, Facebook. So, I mean, some people kind of get it, but too many people still don't get it. They still don't get it. And that's why we're, uh, well, we are going to lose in November. So... You know, I, I, I already just left politics because I also kind of sensed that there was something like this coming. I just did, I was just kind of hoping I, I, I'd just be wrong about it, but, you know, I put God first, not politics or anything else, including money. So this is what, this is what, this is what happens. You know, conservatives had the ball, right? Fake Republicans had the ball, and then we all dropped it, or at least a lot of us did, right? And then the, and then the fake right, you know, uh, they hijacked all the energy from 2015, 2016, and then they derailed America first. All right, that, you know. So, all right then. Um, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. All right. So I think we've gone through everything on the front page of Thingamajig. So all right, let's get right to it. So basically, yeah, this is going to be pretty shitty. Um, but I mean, hey, at least maybe Bitcoin will skyrocket, right? And then all the liberals will be like, "Cigars, Bitcoin skyrocketing because Trump lost the election. Everyone buy Bitcoin." So at least you know we've got a backup plan, right? But as for morality, degeneracy, and the future of America, and really, you know, the white race, essentially, yeah. Well, I mean, that's going to be uh, it's not going to be looking too good for them, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> Bitcoin searches for this week are being revised as we speak to still 13. Uh, of course, I imagine it could go up if this crypto continues to go up. Bitcoin down 66% even. 24 hour has picked up finally. Now it's at 115.2 billion. Bitcoin's at 94.22. So it went up a little bit yesterday and it kind of stood there. Litecoin 44.62. Uh, doggy coin. I know the bull run's gonna come, but it feels like it's been forever. It's like I just, it's like, can we just go already? Dog coin is at three, a little under three fifteen million market cap. I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, if Trump loses the election, that like just fucks everything up because now everything fundamentally has to change, right? And on top of that, I'm curious to like, I mean, the, you know, the Democrats are just going to completely like wipe out the entire uh, freedom of speech for conservatives too. So that's going to have a very negative impact. Like people are already, people getting mad about the protest, they're already starting to threaten to shoot people. So what is going to happen when you take everything away? Like their free speech, they're like, you, you know, there's going to be actual violence. Uh, Hive, where's Hive? Uh, Hive coin, uh, 26.88 cents. Uh, Steam, oh, so Hive's going down a little ish, and uh, Steam said 20.84 cents. Okay, yeah, I guess this is about correct. Damn, that sucks because I bought some Hive when it was at like 60 cents, you know. Now it's pretty cheap, but to be honest, I'm just still holding my dog coin. So I don't know what the markets did yesterday, right? Because it was kind of neutral from the way the prices look. Look like it went back up, and then now it's back down a little bit. So uh, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see what this, uh, what's going on here. I mean, we've had quite a bit of few gains. You know, things are getting better, but maybe people might be pricing in that Trump's gonna lose the re-election uh, this year. So that's gonna cause like massive amounts of uh, changes. And of course, Donald Trump's behavior is still, like, it's getting slightly better, but I mean, oh yeah, I tried to, uh, can I retweet this? Retweet a comment. Let's see. Uh, this is, uh, all right, just whatever. See, see, the censorship's work. It's like, all right, I don't want to deal with it. <clears throat> um, yeah, because I get, like, this is just stupid. Like, this is just stupid. Ludwig is not pro that burning all of the home and is not pro outside that the marriage has been lost and all of this. Blah, blah, blah. He's, this fucking guy just doesn't get it. This, Trump's going to lose. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you know, Trump, uh, you know, there, see, 
on the one hand, there is one silver lining. It shows that there are limits to persuasion, master persuasion. You know, Scott Adams. Uh, you know, master persuader bullshit. Right, you know, because it it works in the short term, but ultimately you can't manipulate your way to the top forever, and you got to start telling the truth. The left knows that; that's why they're censoring conservatives. So, uh, I don't know, we'll just have to see. James C. Coins at seven to eight, so it's been pretty stable. Four four coins always one to two. Um, there's going to be probably a lot more sellers simply because everyone's shifting their coins to cracks. Actually, in fact, am I still logged into? Uh, I'm actually going to start shifting coins to Crex, I think. On the one hand, uh, I'm thinking, do I want the 10% fee, right? Because I'm also because I also like to keep staking coins, but can that outpace the fact that you know there's a 10% fee? I mean, I don't, I just don't want to really do the math, but I think the answer is no. So that's why shifting to Crex would be better. Um, but. I don't know. Yeah, but oh yeah, I'll, I'll I'll shift some coins to Crux. Four oh four, uh, one to two, of course, uh, pending the thing. Uh, two by two coins, sixty eight to seventy, but it's really been pretty volatile, sixty seven to seventy four. So you can get pretty good prices here for now. Capital coins, same thing as yes, as always, fifty one fifty to like fifty seven fifty. So the price has been very stable on that. Uh, nothing here. Uh, oh yeah, I already hit the refresh. Um. Uh, this this is the same shift from yesterday. Uh, Surges after Charlie has launch of a massive upgrade. Okay, cracking Bitcoin if the mass is near the power of crypto. Yeah, that'll, that'll eventually happen, but eventually. Twitter says Trump versus Twitter about his need for decentralized alternative. Yeah, and this guy doesn't even like Trump. He actually hates him, in fact. So we'll read his perspective. Uh, undercar agent track Bitcoin walls lean to arrest of New York City. Okay, so this is from yesterday. So we do want to read that. So we already looked at this. I mean, it's possible it's manipulation, but you know, the, the numbers are still trending in Joe Biden's direction. Uh, Trump still continues to fuck everything up, right? Uh, New York. So here's the thing we have a lot of people in New York City, and we have a lot of naturally unhealthy people. So, I mean, hmm, I don't know, this went from 29 or even 30 percent back down to 26 percent. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. But uh, hey, you know what? You know, uh, you know, like now that everywhere else is literally reopened, including Long Island, apparently, then that means a lot of people who work in New York City are actually going to go outside to get their shit. So hopefully that should relieve the the, the supply problem here in New York City, right? Because again, the last time I went to um, a local fire, I don't want to say the specific fire, but it's a let's look at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid kind of pharmacy. Right, I actually got not you know I actually mentioned yesterday I got I got some cleaning products I didn't get the best one that I wanted because that's still sold out but I actually saw cleaning products I also saw slightly more hand sanitizer than normal even though it was the shitty small bottles which is like yeah I'm not paying I'm not buying that shit All right I just stocked up on the not Ajax um, palm olive dishwashing liquid because that's actually antibacterial and it was like two dollars and nineteen cents for the giant ass bottles that's actually just as good. And obviously it's cheaper and there's more of it, way cheaper, more of it. All right, so Ethereum creator, Vitamin says Trump versus Twitter ballots, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, has dialed in a solution following. See, before we go on, yes, we already have all decentralized, we, we do have alternatives, even though they're not decentralized fully, like BitChute, Gab, but no one uses it, including me. In fact, I had to stop using BitChute because I found out that the reason why my computer was locking up was because of the upload button at fucking BitChute. It's like, it's just so bad. You know, now that's not entirely bit shoot. Well, technically it is their fault, but I'm not judging them because, you know, small indie company. You know, like, that, you, that, that's what you get. <laughs> so, right. But more people would use it if there was also another need for the alternative, and there really isn't. Right? At least on a large scale. That's another reason why I just have to believe politics, because it's just attracting the wrong kind of people. Right? I mean, Mike Cernovich said the same thing. The difference is. You know, Mike chose just simply abandon the thing, and now he's behind the he's now he's just behind the curve all the time. You know, you have people like Nick Fuentes that are ahead of the curve, but you know he's still small in number, and coronavirus just shut everything down, so he can't you know he he so he can't have his you know Groper uprising kind of things. So uh, I don't know, and of course Joe Biden's going to win the presidency. 
at the rate this shit's going, so uh, I don't know, man. Uh, but Alec Peter has all in a solution five today's to reduce challenging and social blah blah blah, build self governing communities. Trump says media platforms are going to probably sign executive order. Yeah, we do have to repeal Section 230. It's obviously just being weaponized, just like we have to ban boycotts, right? As much as I like boycotts, they're just what the, le the left is just weaponized boycotts way too well. Um, and uh, believe it or not, corporations will agree to that because ultimately it hurts them. Because it was like, hey, we can't advertise, then we can't make any money. It's like, you know. Oh, be of the laws of fraud. Speak of the old laws of trust to affect all this. Here we are, free speech. His executive war on the was to point broad protection legals, blah, 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 blah. Trust me, blah, blah, blah. Race, such, such other are increasingly drawing the political as we show filter content. I think it says the situation underscores the need for decentralized alternatives. So you're away from every man for himself mentality. People just post off your job to fill it and to our capella. A choice of diverse self government is a huge, important step forward. I don't know. Personally, I don't know how this, how well something like this will work. People like centralization for a reason. That includes you and me, right? When I go to Target, when you go to Costco to buy shit, that's central. That's centralized, right? Even though they're like, you don't have a mask on, fuck you, and then they kick you out, right? No, no, no to be grant, no granted. If you go to, well, no, if, if you if you go to a local grocery store and they kind of know you, they'll probably let you slide, right? And that's kind of like the point. Even though you should probably still wear a mask, if it's nice and if you're living in New York City or Los Angeles, like I do, right? But, I mean, we go to a, because a local shop is decentralized. They're not a big company. It's like the local mom and pop store, right? You know, it's like they, they're literally like you and me. But Costco or Target, well, no, it's run by a big, big, big fucking corporation, right? That's centralized. And we still go there, right? So there's a reason for it. Now, does that mean decentralization is worthless? Of course not. This is it's it's awesome. That's why you know fucking we're well, I'm invested in this, and most of you are invested in this, and you should, right? But you just have to remember it is not the end all be all like everything else is, right? It's just another piece of the larger puzzle, you know, of, of the giant ass fucking pie. And I um I still feel at at the moment, uh, people are way overestimating. The power of decentralization. Well, Blue argues that placing more uh, up against dangerous kinds of barrel and outright ban. He says he is concerned about selective outrage being used to threaten Twitter's independence. Because that whichever way ends up dying has the incentive to enter some be with the Pluha that be you and play our wishes. We don't regulate you, we need support you now, which leads to a nasty form of lock in. How about we just simply fucking remove Section 230 and then let all the lawsuits fly? Trump also posted the same thing on Facebook. The Sony did not place a warning label on the posts. See, Mark, Mark uh, Fuckerberg at least was smart enough to go, hey, I don't want Trump to fucking piss me off. So it's like, you know, he's not, he's not a pushover like all the other idiots I've banned on Facebook. You know, Trump will actually come after me. So it's like, you know what? Yeah, I don't need this. I'll let Twitter and Jack Dorsey take the hit. This is also good for Facebook, too, because obviously they're competitors. So he's like, hey, Twitter's gone. Now more people will keep using Facebook. And that includes me, even though I don't like using Facebook, because you know, when I run my ads, I'll be, you know, I'm definitely gonna be using Facebook. You know, the Google ads are so complicated, so bad, and it's not nearly as effective. And it's like, why, why am I using Google ads? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use Facebook ads. What I, for my game, that is. Twitter CEO clarifies bizarre issue of worry, well, could you clear up the duty, arbiter does not make us an arbiter of truth. Yes, it does. You F words. Or just connect the dots of Kelly and show them there's a beauty. Yeah, it's like fuck you, Jack. Jack Dorsey, that is. Uh, Buffett Bezos buyer are betting big on this 30 trillion mega trend. By the time huge giant heat high tech cash brand company like Uber Tech on the this company may have caught up. Okay, big ways shifting toward capital that are smart to figure out how to make uh, if this is more global warming shit, I'm just gonna okay. Stock market news live updates, stock futures fall as US China attend because they literally said nothing and then it's like it's 30 trillion. What the fuck? Stock market news live updates, stock futures fall as US China tensions simmer. Well, I mean it's going up and down, so stock futures fell. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I completely forgot. China has a huge incentive to kick off Donald Trump too, because if they can get rid of Trump, they can get rid of the tariffs. So that's why China's in on it. So 
So technically it is correct to point that out, but that's not the right move for Trump because everyone already thinks he's a racist, fucking, unempathetic, uncreative, F-word asshole, which is actually mostly true. And Trump is continuing to play right into that fucking trap because he's retarded, right? Because he'd rather listen to his F-word, stupid loser son-in-law, Jared Kushner, than the actual people like me and I guess most of you, because I assume now more liberals are going to be watching this shit, right? Instead of listening to us, tell them how to get elected, because we got them elected in 2015, 2016, right? No, 20, yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, this, this, this fucking idiot, this fucking idiot. And I'm not going to shed a tear when, you know, the New York, I forgot what we would call it, but like the attorney general here in New York, the New York, whatever, this, the people that put Paul Manafort in jail. When they put, when they put Trump in jail and maybe his three other kids, funny enough, not Jared Kushner. Uh, yeah, and then of course, it'll also confirm what we've always known about uh, the unnamed country and the unnamed try that cannot be criticized or pointed out, right? It'll be 100% true, but most conservatives would still be like fucking in denial and retarded. You know, in fact, um, one of the reasons why I unfollowed most people, even though I don't like doing that, right? Because A, I have to have people take me seriously. But B, it was also a good indicator to see who actually was still in boomer mode and who was in truth mode. Luckily, I'm, I'm happy to say that most people are still in truth mode-ish, but others, you know, they're still in boomer mode. And there's too many boomers, uh, you know, st still, st still, still worried more about fucking China than they are about, you know, what's actually harming America. As it, you know, and of course, I think Mike Cernich is still pushing that along with everybody else on the fake right. Which, well, except Will Chamberlain. He's actually been pretty tame about it. So it's like, you know what? <sighs> Whatever. You know, everyone's going to get what they deserve, as JLP always says. And uh, unfortunately, I've done my best. I want it to be good things that, we, that will happen that we deserve. But uh, now it's going to be bad. So, all right. You know, that's it. Just people made their choice. Shares of tech companies, including Twitter, stabilized a pre-market trade after Trump signed executive order, blah, blah, blah. So that basically means the market thinks it's more paper tiger shit. Renewed his criticism. Blah, blah, blah. I try to try to spend address some of the recent posts, uh, points of strain between the blah, 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 the timing agenda. Chad there to put a draft decision, uh, blah, 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 blah. Trade status, but the apparent re-escalated tariff of China sparked market. It's not having to maintain the period in the form of increased tariffs. Yeah, that's fine. It's unlikely to occur in the near term, the actor already induced by the coronavirus pandemic. Further tariff increases look less likely than some of the other measures in our view. Uh, U.S. exports to China far and so far. And blah, 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 blah. We anticipate that Chinese policy would generally react proportionally or less proportionally than further U.S. reactions. The rest also had the latest economic data. Uh, there are improvements. So this is the one bit of good news. Things that were bad, like unemployment and whatever, it's starting to decline. Uh, initial claims are appearing. Okay, so there is one. Wait, what does that say about Tyson? Tyson pork pie, Iowa shuts after hundred workers test positive. What? How old is this? I know this is going Huffington Post, but oh, it's still May 29th. Yeah, well, I don't buy Tyson, so because they're they're the quality of meat is very low and it's very expensive. It's like, like yeah, I don't like. I'm actually beginning to think we should actually limit monopolies, period, or market. We should even outlaw oligopolies because this is exactly what fucking happens. It's like ugh. Amazon is up. Let's see. So what I, what I was specifically looking at is the tech companies. So equity markets are down. The Nasdaq is not showing. Nasdaq is up a little bit. Okay, so Twitter is down three percent. Okay, Facebook is up, Amazon is up, uh, not too much. Well, Microsoft should be up. All right, all right. So if we go by the stock prices, with the exception of Twitter, because they're obviously just pissing off Trump too much, I think the market understands that Trump. They know that Trump's not going to do anything except to Twitter, and it's only because Twitter was dumb enough to go after Donald Trump's uh, ego. Now that being said, Twitter will be around well after you know Trump is gone, whether it's this year or in 2024. More at the moment, it's going to be more. It's more, It's looking more likely that Trump is going to lose this year, because uh, I still don't see him. He's making small improvements, but it's it's not enough. 
So let's see. Uh, yeah. So this. Yeah. So basically, they read the executive order. We finally read it. They're like the leak was actually about the same. Uh, Will Chamberlain. I actually watched his periscope. You know, I didn't like a retweet because you know I don't want to piss off Nick Puente. Well, Nick Puente probably hasn't blocked. Or gripers. Well, I'll tell you that Will is like. I mean, technically, he's part of the fake right too. So it's like, it's like so annoying. Uh, but aside from that, he has very good legal takes. He basically said it's about litigation. Um, yeah, I mean, at this point, it, it's going to be way too late. Twitter ads glorify glorify by, because let's say Joe Biden gets in. Well, he's just going to he's just going to fire uh, William, Bill Barr, and then they'll just drop the lawsuits, and that'll be that. Twitter ads glorifying violence warning a Trump tweet. Twitter has added a warning to one of Trump's tweets about pro and may I say in violent upon the prolific user has been aware of the company. The third tweet to be flat came in the day of George Floyd. Okay, the thugs are deciding the matter. I want that to happen. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Say, uh, oh yeah. So this is the thing I can't say, but you can pause and read it. This is the this is the section that got it banned. Twitter did not remove the tweet saying it had determined it might be a public interest to have it remain excited. It does only for tweets by elected and government official. The tweet was hidden so that a user looking at it will have to click on the warning to see the original tweet. The real tweet that Twitter were not hidden but did come out to get facts about mail in ballots. Uh, Twitter just flagged it as a prank to use by a question to decode on keys the MSM. Medical officials deter the staffer of blah 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 blah. Uh try to target other so really like to do for material. The order directs the executive branch to ask the independent rulemaking agency, including the FCC and the FTC, to decide where they can place New York on the company. So experts express doubts much can be done without an act of Congress. Yeah, so if this is gonna happen, then yeah, mass shootings will be the norm, right? Conservatives will actually take up arms and just start shooting people, right? I mean, they'll probably start targeting fake news outlets like CNN, etc., and then they'll probably have to start targeting tech companies. Which means, if I have employees, I'm going to give a general order: like, no one is to enter any uh, officially social media thing within, like, a you know, just avoid the area because you know we're going to be expecting mass shootings. So, and that will be serious, and I will actually probably post that as like a general rule, all right? Especially if I'm in, I mean, at that point, I'm still th expecting to be in Tampa, Florida at that point. Like, there are a lot of other nice places along the Florida bottom coast thing. The problem is it's uh, really far away from the cities. I want to be able to be close enough to do um, uh, commercial real estate property. Yeah, on top of it, I don't think they technically need me. It's already kind of republican so me adding a vote doesn't do much plus my you know leveraged uh, effect of like oh it's johnson J. you know he's rich he's got all this shit you know uh but tampa florida where it's 44 percent republicans and 55 54 56 percent democrat that's what the 2016 election results were well then yeah i would have a much bigger i would have a significant i would actually be critical at that point all right, I would be a very critical part of uh, keeping the area kind of stemming away from because it's already going. From what I can tell, it's they've already passed like certain types of hate speech laws, and they're promoting a lot more excessive degeneracy. It's already happening. It's already becoming, uh, you know, G word, the three letter G word, like literally the G word. And I'm not referring to the word God because you can still say God for now, but. Who knows? Okay, so this is what's basically happening. And on top of that, uh, a lot of people in these two commissions, the FCC and FTC, don't give a shit. Right? They, they all hate Trump. The president felt that I've claimed for years that Silicon Valley took out and buys him, but there's no evidence for this. And while they go, maybe, because they have stress, they have no interest in favoring one political party over the other. Well, that's obviously a lie. Let's see what the uh, idiots here on Yahoo. Yeah. So you have earlier at more than say less of bad than rather than having to go out of the courts and the power to the burner and when the honestly it doesn't cut the color clearly dance by a seal or not right. Why don't they print the entire tweet with context, let the reader decide? Yeah, exactly. So at least some people are like, yeah, how does it go when he's warning that shootings tend to follow looting? You need to get on a curl, that's not going to be Saying the the mule likes to leave out. I have to wonder if the same doesn't relate to the fact that I shot a looter and Twitter might be rest for as well happens a lot. Oh yeah, uh, someone did try to, a looter did try to rob a store and the store owner just, you know, blasted him, which is, you know, good for him, self-defense. Oh, that's the other thing too. I was thinking if I had a company and riots break out of Tampa, I'm going to have to lock down my fucking studios and shit. I'm going to have to have armed guards provide, you know, I'll probably, I mean, I'll probably know a lot of people. So I'll ask people to bring their guns, right? Because 
in Louisville. There was a tw there was a tweet of like three white guys with their guns and body armor, right? They were guarding like a tobacco or alcohol store, and they said, "Yeah, we support the protest, but not the looting." So that's why we're here protecting this shit. I 100% approve. Like, uh, see, those guys get it, right? They have a good mix of empathy, but also it's like, hey, you know, we want a center right kind of thing. We don't, we don't want this like, well, they, they obviously don't want to come off as racist, but you know, we see the truth, all right? We see what's happening. It is not fucking Antifa. Like, this is one of the times I would like 100% go against. Uh, Mike Sturridge's narrative. He said it's Antifa doing. This is not fucking Antifa. We see the videos. What are they all Antifa? No, it's you know racist, angry, black people that just hate everybody. All right, they primarily hate cops and whites, but they'll eventually hate everybody else. So, <laughs> like, come on, man. So the minister is a bedrock free speech. Well, okay, most people do censor free. Really, the place for slave employees that will speak. No, but well, at least the. Uh, this is the strangest thing to see a princess ever. I will admit that is kind of funny. Boy, I sure only said all the people going around by the writing minister. Oops, that's the kind of story that two other things are time regular tweet because people are getting there now are biased partisans. Yeah, so at least people are kind of getting. Normally there'd be a lot of assholes here, but at least a lot of people are getting pretty mad about this. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm probably gonna take a slight risk, but I'm gonna make title of my YouTube video like Trump is on track to lose the re-election this year. It might already be too late. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so that we can uh, continue growing this channel. I'm also starting to get hungry all of a sudden. I might have to go back to Target today. Because technically I have enough food for a week and a half. The problem is I'm missing uh, the chicken tenders. Like the, the, the main, my main daily protein course that keeps my stomach thinking it actually is full. Because there's a lot of mass in my stomach. But it's actually uh, calorie efficient. So it's like the that's that's what you, that's why you know eating real food is important. So I don't know, I'll, I'll have to I'll figure it out. Ah, it's like I get spinach. Plus I got a lift. Yeah, I got a busy day. Now I keep playing Hades Star and I haven't worked on my game or read a book in like the past three, four days. So, but yeah, I'm going to title this YouTube markets, uh, I don't know, markets down, NASDAQ up as, as they calculate Trump losing to Biden this year. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video, which is Friday. Oh shit, today is Friday. Today is Friday? I thought today was Thursday. Well, today's May 29th, Friday. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, we're done for the week, but I got to do the investing video tomorrow. So I don't know. I, I just have to put together something. So my that video will probably come later, right? But, uh, but I'll definitely do it. Um, and then we'll pin it to, you know, these things here. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow's video, uh, the investing video. It'll just come later, right? Because I thought today was Thursday, and then, yeah, but today's Friday. So that's also another possible reason, too. But no, uh, it's, uh, no, it's, it, it's, it, it's going to look bad. It's not just China-U.S. tensions, because it's always going to be tense, right? So anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, we need a thumbnail. We're going to use this for a thumbnail, uh, even though he, he, he looks like he's staring at porn. All right, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Judson Chan, GMC Coin, 404 Coin. Yeah, it sucks, but I mean, at the end of the day, this is Donald Trump's fault. It was his re-election to win, and he blew it. All right, and he's consistently blown it for years, even though we told him to stop the problem. And obviously, he'd rather, you know, jerk off and, you know, suck the dick of the unnamed tribe and unnamed country that cannot be named and criticized. So... You get what you deserve. You're going to fucking lose. And you deserve to lose because you abandoned all of us. And you consistently did it. And we still showed loyalty to you. And we're all going to suffer now. So uh, maybe, I don't know. Pre-congratulations to Joe Biden? Eh, not quite there yet, but it's definitely trending in that. right? Because, I mean, at this point, if, it's, if it continues, probably by August, September, I'm going to call the re-election uh, for Joe Biden. I mean, not re-election. Joe Biden will win the presidency. So, you know, 
you know, even though I'm a conservative, I'm not a fucking retarded like most boomers, so, or really a lot of conservatives, so, hey, you want, I tell you the truth, you don't like it, well, hey, take it up with God. See you all tomorrow. Johnson Chan, James C. Coin, 404 Coin, I think I already said that, but yeah, just in case. Uh, we're going to put this over here.